Hey, I'm Nick from Nasty Nick's Motorsports. I'm going to tell you how to spot a good used crank without using a whole lot of expensive tools. So the most important thing, we have two cranks here. This is a good used crank and this is a bad one. Now visually you can see that this crank's taken a lot of salt water, a lot of years. You can see a color difference big time. The natural brown color you're seeing here is from corrosion from water making its way into the crank. On the other side you can see that this is a pretty good crank. This one's been recently rebuilt. Now the first thing you're going to do is eye the snout. You want to look at the snout and see is there any kind of wear, any unusual damage. Is that keyway in good shape? You can see that both of these are somewhat decent, but you can really see how bad this bearing is up close. Now the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and give the bearings a spin. A good bearing is going to rotate nice and smoothly. This one's actually a little bit worn. It shouldn't rotate that many times, but you can hear there's no noise and everything's okay. And you can visually feel that it's pretty tight. Not a lot of movement there. Now this one is bad. Sounds like a skateboard wheel. That's bad. It doesn't matter that it rotates, it matters that it sounds that bad. Now you can oil that and get some of that noise to go away, and you can feel that there's a lot of play right there in that bearing. So I would not consider this a good usable runnable crank. Next thing you're gonna to move to is go to the rods. Make sure the rods go back and forth and they feel good. Both these rods move fine. Now what you're looking for is no up and down play. You wanna go ahead and hold it down with one hand and lift up on the other and see if this thing has any movement upward. That one is good. This one you can actually hear, feel there's actually a good amount of slop and we have a good amount of side to side play. This one, not so much, not as bad. Now, a lot of this is gonna be hard to tell from the video, but when you're feeling it, you'll know. The main thing is check out that bearing. If the bearing sounds like a skateboard, it's no good, and don't run that thing. So I hope this video was helpful, and uh, catch you around, guys.